There are a few ways you can use Go High Level to have a better podcast experience for both your guests as well as the visitors to your podcast. Hi, Taylor here with Financial Potion, where video is your financial potion. And to never miss out on a video, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and then click on the bell to get notified every Friday at 5 p.m. Arizona time that a new video has been posted. For one-to-one -one training or just to support our content, please click above and connect with us on our Patreon page. I absolutely love using Go High Level for my uh, marketing needs, but High Level is also great for a podcast. So if you're someone who is looking to have a podcast and you're not already using high level, you really may want to consider it because there's a lot of tools in there that will not only help you be more successful for the podcast, but will also help people who are watching and who are subscribers of your podcast have a more pleasant experience. So first of all, you can go ahead and get a 14 day free trial by clicking on the link in the description of this video. Then what you can use Go High Level for is to create a form. You're always gonna want to get guest information before they go on camera. So you could have your research and you can get prepared for that particular show. If you are a show that has guests, of course. And so you can see here with our Tales with Taylor that's gonna be launching in 2025, that we do have this guest information sheet where we can get people's names, get their social handles so we can tag them, um, get the bio so you have a nice bio prior to the recording. And then, you know, for us, we like to know what's their favorite snacks and beverages. And the cool thing is they can even upload the logo and the headshots. And so this information gets put into the contacts in Go High Level. So whenever we're done the podcast, let's say even six months down the road, and I said, I want to give Sally Joe a gift, I can go to that contact page. And because they were a guest on the show and they filled out this form, I can see what Sally's favorite drink is and get her her favorite bottle of wine. And so all this information gets input into your contact side of the high level account. So in addition to this great guest information that will get imported into contacts, you can also create a web page for your podcast. So we bought the domain taleswithtaylor.com. We were within seconds able to link the domain into Go High Level and now create a website. And so this website has a home page and then each episode will have a page where we can link back to the guest social media sites, which we have from the inquiry and guest form. We can also link to their books or maybe their products or whatever it is that they're promoting. And so you can see here, this is what the home page looks like. It's a little bare right now since we're still uh, in the pre-production phase and just starting to record, but then you can have a nice list. Episode one, guest name and keyword, and then the video and show notes would go here. We would have the full title, we'll have the video, and then under that could be a bit of a blog and transcription, as well as links back for the client that you received through that guest information. So as you can see, using high level, you can have a more robust presence with your, your podcast. You can also help your guests more this way by linking back to their content. And in addition to that, you should still post the podcast to YouTube, to Spotify, to iTunes. This is just going to be an opportunity for you to direct the traffic to something you own and be able to help your guests get more reach with their links. So if you have any questions about how to implement this, or if you just want to chat about podcasting in general, don't hesitate to reach out. Give us a call, schedule a complimentary strategy session, or just leave your questions and comments below.